What's up everybody and welcome to the Binet channel and today we are going to be reacting to uh, the trailer of Sophie This is a little bit early in the morning, this was released at 4 in the morning um, I was just to do find like the middle ground between uh, the rest of the world and Japan Because I keep releasing these trailers way too early and I have to work so like I have to do it way too early uh, But anyway let's go ahead and react to it and I'll give you kind of my thoughts about it and everything Um I don't know what to expect from this writer because I don't know anything about this character other than her name is Sophie and might, may or may not be a human. Uh, but let's go ahead and check it out and see what's going on here. なんか妙な服着てっけど、人に優しくないの。おい、一人で行くな。ノープロブレム。行くぞ。車。おお、すごい遊び。おお。ペルソナ なんでスマホに映ってんだよ。インディアップ。なんでって私は that's what she is, and they revealed that like all of a sudden we absolutely no climax whatsoever or something like that. They're just like ah, I'm an AI or whatever. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out the trailer one more time because I like, I don't know if they showed her persona yet, um, so I'm kind of curious about um, what that's gonna be like. So we have this scene right here where we've seen before. It looks like he woke her up somehow. Um, oh. You can see it there. And then, um, and then you, you get this scene here where she's introducing herself and everything and they're following her. And uh, she's joining the phantom tips, that's what she's saying right now. And she has these, these boxes that she does attacks with as well as the yo-yos. So not just the yo-yos, but these weird boxes on the back of her, whatever that is. Um, so yeah, they didn't show her persona or anything like that. They showed basically uh, what she's like uh, as far as like the fighting and everything. So you get that idea of, of that and everything. And obviously uh, we get that scene right here where she, she just shows up in her phone and says that she's an AI. That is pretty much the biggest question right now. How is she in the phone and everything like that. But weirdest thing has, has happened in the persona world. Well, this is 100% weird because uh, we had a uh, full robots like uh Aegis in persona 3 um so this is an out of the realm of the possibility um well, obviously we have the app on um persona 5 which opens mementos and everything like that so pretty uh on the um um multiverse whatever you call it there uh so it's really interesting to see what what's going to happen with this particular storyline um, I'm curious to see if they did additional games and they were all app based or something like that like this one so That would be pretty interesting and cool But um, yeah, I mean like what do you guys think about that? We had a trailer for her and uh, I like her character. I think her character design is really cute um, But I don't know particularly how, how to feel about like her attack or anything like that. We don't have much um, Frankly the trailer that we had for Kasumi revealed a whole lot more um, the trailer for her just revealed um, not a whole lot, so um, it's still pretty early to decide whether I like the character or not. 
but um obviously they're gonna be doing these character uh, trailers for pretty much everybody uh, so i'm really curious and really excited but yeah that's it for today guys if you're new please consider liking and subscribing i'm just uh rambling on and on about um this character here but let me know what you think about it do you like her do you not like her what do you mean by ai what do you think about that um again i don't think it's any different from Aegis from persona 3 who's being the she was a full-on robot made to um kill shadows and that kind of stuff so yeah that's it for today i'll see you next time